Hey friends, welcome back to the Disney Housewife channel. If you're new, my name is Heather. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the contents of a box I received from Beth over at the Collectioneers Club. Beth and I have been friends like since we both started our YouTube channels. We found each other within a month. I think she found me within a month of starting her channel. So like we've been friends ever since and she spoiled me last year on my birthday and she is spoiling me again this year. If you missed last year's video, I will link it somewhere. It might be in the description box. I don't know. I don't know where I'll put it, but it'll be somewhere for you guys to watch if you missed last year. If you're new to my channel and didn't see it, I will link it for you to enjoy as well. She sent some amazing gifts last year too. So I have three categories of things to share with you. Books, Disney, and the Golden Girls. So I'm going to start off with the books because I am in knee deep reading books right now. I've got out of my slump that I was in for about three months and I'm enjoying all of the books. So the first thing I want to share is book related and it is actually this, um, let me shut it. This is a rechargeable LED neck reading light. If you know me at all, I have crazy insomnia. Going through chemo did not help it. It actually made it a million times worse. So I'm either on my phone in the middle of the night waking my husband up who needs to go to work and can't be up all night long because I'm up or I'll come in here and turn the light on and wake Michaela up. So it's like I can't win and I'm just going crazy trying to go back to sleep and trying to find something to calm me and yes I needed one of these so badly. So here's what it looks like up close and I actually used it last night. I was up around 1 30 and I was reading and both sides have the lights on them and each side has a switch for you to turn them on so you can use one or both depending on how much light you need and they actually have um like strength of lighting so you can turn it all the way up or I think there's three different settings of light on this so it's really really nice like I said I used it about 1 30 this morning when I couldn't sleep and um and there we got brighter and then off for the fourth time. And so I really do love this and it's so comfortable and it has adjustable arms on both sides. So you don't have to constantly keep like moving your phone light on your book or a book light to switch it to a new page. Like, you know how frustrating that can be if you are up reading and trying not to wake anyone up. So this was an absolutely wonderful gift and I love it so much. It works so well. Like I said, I was up at 1.30 reading and I was reading the Bible and so I just slipped this on and had my Bible on the book rest, on the armrest of the chair, on the book rest. I guess it is a book rest. It's an armrest of the couch. <laughs> and um, yeah, whenever I switched pages, I just moved it over and it was still like hands free and I enjoyed what I was doing. It was stress free and I was able to go back to sleep after a little while. So it was, it was really nice. This was a really great gift. Okay, so let's go on with the books. The number one book that I have wanted for a couple of months now since its release is Nicholas Sparks The Return. If you guys know me, I have said how much I love Nicholas Sparks. He is my favorite author. I love him. I absolutely love him. And he was actually doing a book signing when I was going through chemo and I didn't get to go because I was just tired. So couldn't stand in line. But anyway, I was really excited um, to get this book and I can't wait to read it. I actually bought this for a friend that lives locally here and she should be getting hers today. So we're gonna start reading this together and it'll be nice to compare her thoughts on it as well as we read it along together. So I thought that was really great. She's a Nicholas Sparks fan too. So I was so excited that Beth gifted me this. She spoils me so, so much and I just get so overwhelmed. Um, the next book is A Lake House Holiday by Megan Squires. And I really wanted to increase my library of Christmas themed books. So, this one was apparently on my list as well. <laughs> it's such a beautiful cover. And I can't wait to read this one as well. This will be, I'll definitely be reading that in December. The very last book is by Fanny Flagg. She is the author of Fried Green Tomatoes and the Whistle Stop Cafe, and it is a red bird Christmas. I love the simplicity of this cover. It gives me all the Hallmark vibes as well. So beautiful. I love it so much. And I'm not going to read any of the covers of these, um, but if I do a book haul later on, when I acquire more books, I might do that and sit down and read those covers to you guys. That way, if you guys want to add them to your list as well, you can. On into the Golden Girls now, and I'm going to start off with a type of Golden Girls book. And it's a Golden Girls cookbook, and I believe Beth said she found this at Target. I 
love this book. I've looked through this cookbook so many times and I cannot wait to start cooking things from it. You guys know I love to cook, so I will definitely be getting so much use out of this. It is broken up in four parts for each Golden Girl and I love it. There are little clips from the TV series in here, little sayings and things like that. Um, and this picture of Sophia, <laughs> I love it so much. This is one where she says there's a hurricane a coming. So, um, there's just so many recipes in here, including cheesecake, because you can't have the Golden Girls without cheesecake. But there's so many things in here that made me laugh. And uh, so here's the cheesecake recipe. Look at that. That looks intense, doesn't it? And so, the, there, like I said, there's little blurbs, so little quips in here from the TV series. So Dorothy says, there's nothing worse than being wide awake and scared and by yourself. And Rose says, oh yes, there is being wide awake and scared and by yourself without a double fudge chocolate cheesecake in the freezer. So it's just fun looking through these recipes and seeing how they're named after the characters and just seeing some of their, their, um, their dialogue from the TV show. So this was absolutely a wonderful, wonderful gift as well. Moving on, the next Golden Girls item is this puzzle. I love this so much. I always love how Sophia has that little head tilt. I think she's absolutely adorable. Um, for those who really didn't follow the Golden Girls, she was actually the youngest of of all of the ladies on here. And in the pilot episode, between the pilot episode and the next episode, she had a facelift, so they had to completely reduce Sophia's look. Go look that up if you're not a if you're not familiar with the Golden Girls. But I cannot wait to do this puzzle. Like January is my puzzle season, so I really can't wait to do this. Um, so this is how it will look on the back. So it will have the Golden Girls completely framed. I really do love this a lot. And as part of my Golden Girls collection that I do own, I have that pilot script and it is autographed by all four Golden Girls. So that's like one of my prized possessions. Um, I actually got that in an auction and I will not tell you how much I spent on it and we're gonna move on. The very next Golden Girls item I have is this mug and I'm living for it so much. First of all, it kind of gives you the winter and Christmas vibes just looking at it because of all the beautiful pine trees, but then it says Shady Pines. Retirement home, assisted living at its shadiest, Miami, Florida. Beautiful hunter green and these white trees. If you see any weirdness, I did drink out of it this morning. So if there's like lipstick marks or something, I apologized. It did not come that way. Um, but yeah, it's just a cute little mug and it's got a nice size handle. I mean, my whole hand can almost go all the way through to my wrist. I'm not gonna do it because my luck, I would get it stuck. But I like to hold mugs like this sometimes and like this is massive this is absolutely massive but anyway I absolutely love this mug and I was so excited to get it I, I shrieked probably in the Marco Polo when I saw it it just made my heart really really happy the last Golden Girls item is this beautiful fleece throw blanket and it's massive so it's really gonna be hard to see it but it's kind of like the um, it's kind of the stylings of Andy Warhol paintings and so we have uh, Rose and Dorothy at the top I love how they are done. And then we have Blanche and Sophia. Like I said, it's really big. <laughs> so we have Blanche and Sophia at the bottom. Just beautiful with all of the, the colors in it and just really pretty, really soft, really cozy. And I will definitely be getting so much use out of this. You know, we are a family that can never have too many blankets. Um, Alrighty. Um, but we love blankets in this house. I can't tell you how many we have, but you know, if you're ever looking for a gift item, just send us a blanket. We won't turn it down. We love them. So I have three more things to share with you and I feel like I kind of rushed through it, but I did open these gifts for Beth in front of Beth on Marco Polo so she could see my first reaction and didn't have to wait for a video. And that's kind of what we did last year. She, she opened what I sent her and I opened what she sent me via Marco Polo and then I shared these, uh, then I shared the gifts with you guys in a video. Um, it's just what we do, I don't know. <laughs> the first Disney item that I opened, I freaked out. Like I literally freaked out. All three of these items I freaked out, like literally over everything. But wait until you see what I have in my hands. These are small shop Ratatouille Remy ears. Look how cute and he has the Disney park snacks. He has got the Mickey premium bar. There's a Mickey beignet, there's a lollipop. 
the Cheshire Cupcake, and there's the Sorcerer Mickey. I forget what that treat is called specifically. But then look, there's a Tigger Tail, there's another beignet, the Mickey Sunday, and there's popcorn by his feet. And this one, he's got the little chef's hat on, and I'll give you a look at the back. I'm loving all this pink with the checkerboard background. Look at how adorable the popcorn there. I forget what this is called. If somebody knows, let me know, because I don't remember. The corner of a Dole Whip. It's just adorable fabric, and I honestly wish that I had yards and yards of it. What is that? Oh, it's a Mickey, Mickey head cheeseburger. I didn't even notice that. That is so cute. There's a Donald Duck cupcake, more popcorn, just an adorable pair of ears, and they are pink sequin on the fabric, or on the headband as well. So cute. I love how pink they are, and they're gonna look so cute on and for Valentine's Day. I probably will wear these in every Valentine's February themed video because they're just so stinking cute. So I was so excited to get those. The next item also had me completely floored because when I was opening it, I could tell that it was a Disney pin and I'm like, are there two Disney pins in here? Like what's going on? It felt very heavy and it was massive. And I'm like, okay, well there's enough room. I thought it was the backer card. Oh no, no, no. There was no backer card. Look how intense this is. It is a little golden book Ratatouille pen. Like, can you even? I mean, it's massive. It's absolutely massive. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it at all. Let me get up closer so you can see it better. Like, there's too much glare. But look how cute this is. Like, every detail, and that we actually have this little golden book. So, every detail of this is completely accurate. I don't know how the person did this, but I do know that the seller does have other little golden books on their Etsy site. So I will definitely link that below as well because I need more of these. These are so ridiculously cute. And the fact that I love to read and I love to read to Michaela, the fact that Michaela actually has this one, I'm so excited. I was so thrilled to get this. Didn't even know this one existed. So that was, that was also a nice surprise. Stop looking at it. I can't even bear to put it on my pin board yet because I just kind of want to pick it up and look at it every once in a while if it's so precious. So Beth has done it again. She has gifted me one of my Jim Shore Grail figurines. It is Disney and it is Christmas and it is absolutely stunning. If you guys know me at all, know that I am on the quest to collect the books and here is the one she sent me. Oh, wait, a how did I not know this thing lit up? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so I apparently need to put batteries in it. No idea this lit up. I mean, it was on my grill list and I didn't know that it lit up. Am I even a Jim Shore fan? What is wrong with me? Anyway, look how stunning this piece is. I love it. Pluto just cracks me up with his little O face. Look at that. Look at it. It's so cute. And then like, look at all the detail in the snow. I love their costumes, their outfits that they're wearing. Very Charles Dickens and uh, Norman Rockwell, whatever you wanna call it, is very beautiful. I love it so much. Goofy in the background, he's also caroling along with them. And I think Daisy stands out so much to me because she just looks so beautiful. I mean, Minnie looks the same, but I think it's the, the Minnie Mouse ears that kind of make it look like she's wearing a baseball hat instead of a bonnet. Um, so Daisy really stands out to me. I love the holly and ivy trim, all the red and green with the blue background. And then obviously I didn't know it, but the lamp will light up. <laughs> so the lamp post will light up. And then here is what the side view looks like. And then the back of the book is green, which I love. And then here is a close look at the other side again. There's Pluto, oh, his cute little scarf is so adorable. And then it does say Merry Christmas on the bottom. It is so cute, so lovely, I love it so much just so beautiful. I love these books. I hope to get them all at some point. Just adore them. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for joining me today and I will see you guys next time. Bye!